The National Broadcasting Commission has reassured players in the broadcasting industry that the body is working to review its policies and also creating new avenues that will provide a better soft landing in servicing their working licenses. The Director General of Commission, Balarabe Shehu Ilela, who announced this on Wednesday in Lagos, noted that the station have been given the privilege to approach the Commission with their respective payment plans and see how it will work out. The NBC board said that the broadcasting of content without renewal of license can be regarded as illegal and such outlet will have their license suspended. Stakeholders in the broadcasting industry include the chairman of Dark Communication, Raymond Dogbesi, Jr. admonished the commission to work together with the players in the industry, as it is not only a regulatory body, but also a body that provides guidance. Other speakers also called on NBC to address the critical issues affecting the broadcasting industry in order to make progress in Nigeria. In his remarks, the Imo State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Honorable Wode Klan, Emilumba, charged the state government and the Federation to take the funding of state-owned media houses seriously as this is the only way the people can get information on what they are doing. The meeting, which was aimed at reconciling the differences between the Commission and the broadcast station, had in attendance commissioners of information from different states, CEOs and general managers of electronic media houses. 0.5% that we have just discussed here with uh, members of the industry, uh, we have had their complaint and uh, NBC is going to look at it. But don't forget, it's part of our code. So we are, but that, uh, we, are, we are in the process of reviewing the code and that issue will be uh, discussed during the review. Well, most of those who have not paid, of course, we have given them an ultimatum. So they should pay within the time that is given to them just now. Failure to do that will have their license revoked, actually. But those, what, what we are saying, you should also understand that what NBC is saying is that you don't have to pay all the money at once. You can come to NBC for discussion. Let us see how much you can be able to pay. Let's target the amount. Bring to the NBC your payment plan. That is all. It is nice for the DG and for the NBC to say we can pay like this at a forum like this. But when we receive letters as operators, in practice they are quoting the NBC code. So the first thing to do perhaps is to review the code and to make it as lenient as that also in the code so that you know going forward though the spirit of that intention can probably be reflected so it's good that they have spoken all is left is for the regulators to internalize all the suggestions that we made and see how it can be a win-win situation because we really have to empathize with uh, all station owners with the economy and everything just like has been said when other sectors die, they mustn't die because they have to, you know, disseminate information for people to be abreast of what is happening in the society. So it's an interesting thing. It's a good thing to talk. Implementation is another thing. Let's hope that all that has been said will be implemented in a situation where everybody will benefit. Private stations are established as a profit-making uh, venture, and they, 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 they go all out to make sure that. Uh, they make their ends meet. So when you invite the government to fund them or to subvent them, you're also indirectly inviting the government to also have some control. And people will even react and say, government is coming to uh, muzzle the media by funding private stations. That means that they won't allow them to say what they want to say and air what they want to air. So I don't think it's a very good thing to say, uh, invite the government to uh, fund private stations because that will create some problems.